Hello and welcome to Monument Cycling's highlights of round two of the British Cycling National Circuit Open Series. Today we're in Ilkley, just a few miles to the west of the first round in Otley on Wednesday, where Ribble Rebellion's Matt Bostock clinched victory in a dominating sprint ahead of Tekka CC's Robert Scott and Ribble Rebellion teammate Jim Brown in third. All three riders here again today with a slightly smaller field of just over 70 riders on a much tighter 1.5 kilometer course compared to the 2.3 kilometers of Otley. And the pace would be electric from the start with Saab Golani colors Oliver Reese dancing on the pedals in the bright yellow and red kit, leading the pace on the first climb. A name definitely to remember for today's race as attacks would come thick and fast. Ribble Rebellion seeking to shut down moves at the front. Next, it would be James Hartley in the blue of Cycling Sheffield who'd launch off the front, taking defending team champions Will Base Captain Castelli with him. It wasn't to last so early on in the race though and Oliver Reese again would next jump off the front forming a breakaway of six riders with representation from wheelbase Cab Tech Castelli, Tekkers and Ribble Rebel Rebellion. The makeup of the front group would change a couple of times as they held a small and tentative lead on the chasing bunch as wheelbase Cab Tech Castelli's Tim Shawman, winner of last year's Colne Grand Prix, led into the next lap with Rob Scott of Tekka CC second in Otley hot on his heels and it would be Scott who'd now try and go clear attacking the breakaway to gain about seven seconds on the chasing group. But with Ribble Rebellion and Oliver Reese chasing behind it, it wasn't to be as Scott sat up and everything would come back together once more. This relative harmony in the bunch wouldn't last long though, and next it was Cole Davis of Ribble Rebellion and Alec Briggs of Tekka CC who'd launch a bid for escape. Barring a small slip of the chain, the two would get a decent gap on the bunch. Alec Briggs' self-confessed disappointment in his performance here last year, no doubt driving him on. And just shy of a lap later, the two would be joined by Zach Mackin, who'd make a huge move to bridge the gap solo for Who BCC in his first year as an under-23 outside the junior ranks. The three out front would change again, still with Alec Briggs, but this time with Oliver Peace and Alex Belden, though it wasn't long until Briggs was again solo off the front, with Oliver Reese, for Sabgul, Annie Culler and Dylan Wesley of St Piran bridging across the gap. Now these three would soon be five with Tekka CC's Rob Scott and also the green of Spectra Racing's Toby Barnes joining the leading group with the bunch still chasing hard behind. Now these five would work well together but first Briggs and then Wesley would fall back and it was Cole Davis of Ribble Rebellion, the only rider able to bridge across leaving four riders clear with less than 15 minutes to go. Oliver Reese now though clearly unhappy having put in the vast majority of effort on the front for the group as turns into the wind were skipped and with frustration clearly mounting it was unclear if the group would stay away as the laps continued to count down. Fortunately though it remained as scrappy behind as it was in front and into the final sprint it would be Rob Scott for Tekka CC who had lead. Cole Davis unable to match the speed as Scott took the win in Ilkley. Davis holding on for second place for Ribble Rebellion. Oliver Reese having been in nearly every move of the day. Just sneaking to third place for Sab Golani Colour ahead of Spectra Racing's Toby Barnes. Who'd made a huge last ditch attack on the last downhill into Ilkley. But would ultimately have to settle for fourth place. Narrowly missing a spot on the podium. Next up then, we head on Wednesday south to Guildford for the Guildford GP, which again you can watch live with us at Monument Cycling. We hope very much to catch you there. Thanks ever so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.